we all know the kind of places, you know, the office buildings, the museums that have that cafe in-house where they make those ho-hum, boring sandwiches that you probably wouldn't even want to put in your kid's school lunch. Well, the Art of Yum at the Mattituck Museum in Waterbury is trying to change that with award-winning tacos, a make-your-own mac and cheese situation, and a sushi rito. You know I had to come out here and try this. It's the Art of Yum right now at the Mattituck Museum in Waterbury. Maybe we'll get a little cultural along the way. Jeff, awesome to come back and see you again, man. Dude, thanks thanks for having us over here. I really appreciate it. No, anytime. Uh, what a beautiful spot, man, here thank in the you, museum. You. How how did this end up happening? Listen, during COVID, the museum called. They're like, listen, we're going through a lot of remodeling yeah. and things like that. Like, you want to join us and be a part of our catering crew? So we used to be around the corner on Grand Street. Yeah, that's where I first met you was over there, right? Yeah, of course, uh -huh. of course. So we said, you know what, why not? The art of Yom in a museum only makes sense. It makes you total know? sense, right? Definitely. And definitely. the people that I've met so far, they seem really cool in here. Very like supportive and you of, know, of happy course. that you're here. Definitely, definitely, of course. I mean, and one of the cool things too I love about this, like, you know, you're an artist yourself. You I know, try, I you try. do some painting. I mean, you try. Yeah. You see the artwork on the walls. Thank just you, thank gorgeous, you. man. Thank and it's all stuff that you've done, right? Yes, yes, definitely. You're yeah. very open minded, very free thinking, almost like your artwork when it comes to the food, right? Yeah, of course. I, I like to call it a American fusion. I like to take, you know, a little bit of the, the bayou, a little bit of Italian, a little yeah. Japanese, and just mix it all together to make just one. Put in a bowl of cool, cool menu. Yeah, it, up exactly. And see what we got, right? Exactly. exactly. I mean, I'm exactly. excited about this make your own mac and cheese choices. Like, are you kidding listen, me? Listen, whatever you want. You got I it love it. it. I you love got it. it for you. Your whole family's a part of this, right? Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, my, my, my father, he's like the, the host with the most. He'll sing to you. I remember your dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and your wife works with you too. Your wife's one she of does. human being. She's our general manager. Okay. Also my personal life manager as well. I got you one know, of those too. It, it, it all works. Yeah, it all yeah. Works. <laughs> Enough talk. I want you and I to go cook in this kitchen. Can we let's do, do it? it? Let's go. Let's, let's do it. We're going to make some art on a plate. Yeah. My man, yeah. Chef Michelle. Let's do it, brother. All right, Chef, I'm excited here, man. You, same what, here, what are same we making? Here. So we're making my specialty dish called the Sushi Rito. Sushi Rito? My breakfast version of sushi. All right, and this has pork belly in it, right? It has pork belly in it. Man, count yeah. me in. Let's do it. Let's All right, do how do we start? Three eggs. Crack them in here. Like, like you make an omelet? Come on now. Well, here's the trick. If you ever do get shell in your egg, mm -hmm. use the eggshell to pull the shell out. It's like a magnet for eggshells. Gotcha. All right, so let's get nice with the fork right here. Yep. Try to make a perfect rectangle on that flat top. What? Out of this? Out of that. Let's go. Yeah. All right, and before the egg cooks on top, you can salt bay some panko right on top of that. All right, I'm heavy on the panko, chef. And the key to all things good, adobo. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, it kind of came out fast. <laughs> we good, we good, we good. We're going to take some home fries. Home fries, too? Using your hand like, like so. Well, that's technique. And throw them into oh. Let it drop, let it drop. Right? I love it, I love Damn, it. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. All right, so you can flip onto the panko side. All right. A little cheese on top of there. Yeah, yeah. What do you got there? This is the uh, the Michi pork belly bits. Ooh. It's pork belly smoked and then ground. Okay. Smoked pork belly. Your pork sauce, ground. right? Yep. What's yep. that over there on the side? <laughs> Let's put it right on the flat top. All right. Yep. Nice is that enough? Water. Yep. That's perfect. A little more. You, you need more on the pork belly. Is that enough? No. Nope. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> yep, yep. Perfect. Oh, wait. Wait. I think we need a little more. There we go. There we go. Boom. <laughs> it's delicious. It's pork perfect, belly. Perfect. Avocado pulp. One thick line down the middle. Now this is my favorite part. So you can make like a nice graffiti drip down down the middle. I know what you mean. You know? I got you. Interesting. So then the chipotle aioli, straight down the, the middle. Take the pork belly. All right. Put it right there. All this in that little spot. Right there. You got it. You got it. Bro, you're Chef Plum, man. You can make it happen. <laughs> How's that? It's perfect. All right, then home fries. Put it right here. We're gonna roll this up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to get it as tight as possible. Yep. Interesting, I feel like that panko actually helps hold the egg together a little bit. Yep, yeah. So then we're cutting this guy up. This is the first time I've ever used egg for sushi. This is crazy. <laughs> I love it. Pickle veg. Yep. Will be like our fake ginger. A dollop of uh, full aioli on top of the sushi rito. Spring mix microgreen, just right, right on top. All right, here we go. What a beautiful dish, man. Damn. Is this breakfast or is this lunch or is this dinner? This Bro, is all it's, the it's above. everything. It's everything. It's when you're hungry, you eat it. Check this out, sushi Rito. Definitely. Man, this is crazy talk. Are you kidding me? I can't wait to get my mouth on this. This is nuts. I love it. I Bro, love you're it. the man. Thank you. Very creative, huh? I try. Yeah, I try. listen. It's the art of yum, art on the plate. Check that out. 
Chef, this all looks amazing. And I see three types of mac and cheese in front of me. I mean, I have tacos in front of me. Let's do this. Let's talk about these tacos right here. All right. Pickled veg, a little shrimp. A little bit of coleslaw. Nice sa sa sauteed shrimp. Dice with my partner's uh, specialty sauce, Dejan Dante. The tang comes out in that really well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. A little bite, not super uh, overpowering kind of bite. But the Thank pickle you. comes through really nice there. Yeah, yeah. Mix well up the shrimps, and that Mix sauce well. is pretty good. Dejan Dante. Oh, <laughs> And okay. on the Dante part. Dante. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we got mac and cheese. Let's talk about the cheese sauce and the different types of sauce we have here. So we have a, a cheddar, asiago, and gouda mac and cheese. Oh. Top with uh, barbecue chicken. Now I know why they call it gouda. Yeah. Is this gouda? gouda. This sauce is fire. Talk about that mac and cheese, the actual sauce you use when you make. So it's a, it's a nice classic cheese roux. Mm -hmm. Again, with a little Asiago cheese. Use a, the nice blocks, a little, let it melt down. And again, a little, little bit of gouda, because it's good. And then let's talk about this one. Are you kidding me? Okay. Let's talk about this dish and the history of it, where it came from. And do I cut this or just pick it up? Or what do you? Just, just try to pick it up, man. Right. Just try to go. Yes, yes, I can't watch you. Oh, I'm gonna look away. This dish is uh, probably one of the dishes that made the Art of Yum become the Art of Yum. This is delicious. Thank um, you, thank you. I love the panko on the outside. I think it's, it, it's weird. That's the start of me. Yes. I think when you have great food, it affects everything. Yes. Your sight, your smell, uh, your taste. Of course. And your feeling. So many people, chefs, don't get that. When I eat this, it's getting that texture, that feeling in my mouth. This is a home run. Coming here and tasting this food and hanging out with you, like I said, right. it's that feeling you're really getting, man, and you're nailing that. And I tell you what, this is just, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm unbelievable, man. Thank I appreciate you, you Thank chef. You. Thank you so appreciate much. You. This appreciate is unbelievable. You. I think you got some tickets, because uh, my phone was calling my name. Done, done, gotcha. I've been coming to the Art of Yum ever since they first opened, and the food is really just excellent, excellent food. My favorite, you must try it if you come, is the shrimp and grits. Mmm, they're excellent. So yummy and delicious. You like that, huh? Chef, it's just, it speaks to me, like the colors, it feels like a beautiful hurricane in the forest. It's really, it's something special. Really? It is the RDM. It's just so pretty. I don't, it's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm still crying. 